Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I'm getting ready to go to another art exhibition by Jérôme Berti. If you've been following me, you've already seen one of his exhibitions I've been to. And today I have another one. It's in Brussels, so it's very exciting. It's not too far away. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get going. So today, I don't know if I can show you my outfit. I'm gonna try. <laughs> So I am wearing this little dress, but I've made it look more casual with this uh, gray sweater and my booties. <laughs> and I hesitated for a while to, what to do with my hair, but I think I'm just gonna let it loose like this. It's a little flat looking, but hopefully it will be okay. So yeah, I'm looking for a place where the lighting is not unflattering, but it's dark outside, well, it's getting dark and I've got like, bright yellow lighting on here oh actually this is not too bad it's not very bright but it should be okay so i'm gonna go hopefully it's not too cold outside though i have the feeling it will be and i have no idea where i'm supposed to go so wish me luck that i find the place and i'm taking you guys with me this time i'm not forgetting my camera <laughs> for this one so hopefully i get some good footage for you see you in a minute So this is um, this is JB's painting behind me. JB, je le remercie. So it's a collective exhibition with the theme of the women. I think I told you already. It's an international uh, women's rights day. So right here behind me. I'm trying to get an interview with the artist, but he doesn't want to. I don't want it. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I'm watching <laughs> Sex in the City, the first movie for the 10 hundredth time and I'm waiting for my friends to arrive and we're gonna go out and we're gonna go clubbing and I know I look a little dominatrix -y right now but I'm kind of digging the look I'm, ob I'm obviously not gonna film, I'm not gonna bring my camera to a club but that's the plan for it tonight <laughs> Oops <laughs> I guess the movie's over <laughs> I've just steamed to my face and it feels oh it feels so good even though it looks like um, my face is melted off probably some old makeup it feels nice I put some um, some herbs in it I didn't know if it was gonna change anything but I know I was gonna breathe it in and it was gonna open up my airways and I look really red but I always like having a little color on my pale face so um... <laughs> so yeah I just um, 
put my face over a part of uh, really hot water and just wait it there with a towel on top and just breathe everything in and it feels really nice now and also I took a clean flannel with some cold water and just dabbed it, well pressed it to my face to remove the condensation and the sweat and all the toxins that may have come out and also to close the pores so that felt really really good and here we go here's my setup here's what le what's left of it <laughs> so yeah easy um so yeah easy spa day and i, lo I love how red i look <sighs> my breath feels well, my airways actually. My airways. My airways. Why does my eye look so weird? I probably have some weird leftover makeup in there. My anyway, my airway feels nice and minty because I put some dried mint leaves in there. And <sighs> okay, lunchtime now, and then I'm gonna go out. And I think, I think today I'm gonna re dye my hair because. I know a lot of people like the blonde, but I don't and I've waited a whole over a month now trying to get like used to it and I still don't feel like myself so I'm gonna go buy some brown dye and I'm gonna see what I can do with it and I'll show you guys or maybe I won't if it's a complete fail <laughs> but I will, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair back uh, as soon as possible because even though I don't mind the blonde, I just don't feel like myself anymore, I just don't feel... I don't feel like me, even though a lot of people really like it and say like it brightens up my face. I just find that it gives me a strange tone and I don't know. I've always liked having dark hair, so I think I'm gonna go back, back to black. <laughs> okay, I hope you can hear, can't hear the music in the background, otherwise I'm gonna get a copyright strike. But I am dyeing my hair, guys. I am dyeing my hair by myself, which is so scary. I don't know what's actually scarier, trusting a hairdresser that you don't know yet with your hair or trusting yourself with your own hair. And strangely, and strangely enough, I think I trust myself a little more, though when it comes to hair dye, it's always... Oh my god, it's always so tricky. So I don't want to lose like the... Uh, blonde so i think i'm going to try and go for a subtle ombre effect but yeah this is a complete experiment so i don't know how it's gonna go so right now i've done the top i'm gonna to wait a few minutes and then i'm gonna start spreading the color down it's probably like the completely wrong way to do this i know i have hairdresser friends who might be watching this and might be going like what the hell what are you doing absolute no no but yeah this is how i'm gonna try and hopefully it turns out well because i need to go out to an event tonight so well tonight for me but maybe for you you will have already seen the event because i will be filming it and making probably a whole video about it i don't know yet <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and um, my skin is still really good though. I'm very happy about the uh, the steaming. I just need to be careful not to put any dye on my face and oh my god, it smells. So I'm gonna let this sit for 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna add some more and we'll see from here how it goes. <laughs> see you on the other side. Hair update. I'm gonna try and show you the best I can. So I think it's much better this way. It's not as dark as my natural color. My natural color is like this and it's kind of a light brown. I didn't leave it on for very long. I was afraid that it would look weird with the gradient, but I think it turned out uh, okay. I, le I left this uh, little piece because I thought it looked, it looked pretty cool. Let me try and put my hair correctly. This is what my hair looks like when I don't, uh, when I try and hide the the shaved part <laughs> so yeah it's still like um it's like it's, it's practically an ombre effect um i think i would have liked it to be a little darker but hey i think it's better this way it's still really blondish and i'll see if i if i leave it that way but for my hair at least for because uh, I, I can feel that when i put the product on my hair got really really um it felt like weird you know that if you've dyed your hair you know how it feels like your hair just feels i don't know i, I don't find the word the word in english 
but I've treated it, I've conditioned it, and it, I hope it'll be okay, but I'm not gonna like keep do anything else to it for a while now, I think. So yeah, tell me what you think, guys. Uh, I hope I'm not disappointing people and not being blonde anymore. Uh, honestly, I was really disappointed in having to dye it back again, but here we go. <laughs>